Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Southern Knights, back at you with another video. And before you watch this video all the way through, I would like for you to like, share, subscribe to the channel. All my links in the description box. Feel free to donate. And peace family once again. I want to talk about this um, mass exodus that's going on in these cities, particularly like California, you starting to hear this rhetoric being talked about more and more in the media. It's to the point now, mainstream media is picking up on the mass exodus now. So, you know, a while back, they used to keep that on the wraps. It used to be the people from the social media talk about the mass exodus. But now you are seeing people like, Fox News, CNN, NBC talking about the mass exodus of California. The And I guess it's unavoidable at this point because you got the homeless rate, you have the um, the immigration, why they coming in, you got people that's moving out. So that's basically giving you the pattern of the future of places like Arizona, um, yeah, Arizona, you have uh, Los Angeles, you have all the places to where the crisis is going on right now, like some parts of Texas. And the, this is going to fuse something that I think a lot of people is not ready for and will not be ready for when the time comes. So... This is my thing, and this is my opinion on really the mass exodus that's really going on. So with that said, I start this video off like that because I want to piggyback off of it because I want to basically do a segment on that alone as people coming from one place into another, particularly to the South, like Texas, you know, you got places that's open now and a lot of places that's pretty much available to people that's trying to live a more downside life and they downsizing off of the, the situations that they used to living in, particularly like <laughs> bigger houses or houses that they paying a lot of rent on it. So you might get a studio apartment, like a one bedroom studio apartment and you paying like almost a thousand or 500 for it. And some people might say this is still cheap compared to where they at. And they may be right because down here in the South, that will be kind of steep, but I understand the different levels and the different frequencies that people stay on when it comes down to how people live. So a $500, $500 a month apartment down here might be a steal when it comes down to a person that's coming up north. You see what I'm saying? So they're gonna come down, try to seek a property, and it's gonna be a lot cheaper or they're gonna come down eager to buy land. So that's what most people probably end up doing, probably buying the land and buying the lot. But the thing is, and I'm not saying this is all people from the city, but a lot of people from the city are used to staying in apartments. So I don't see a lot of people from the city actually buying lots and land unless they used to doing stuff like pulling mobile homes on the land or building the land from the ground up. Now, if they were building the house for a ground, from the ground up, then yeah, that will probably be the only reason why a person from the city will buy a lot or buy a certain amount of acres of land unless they was using it for other reasons. But yeah, this is what's going on right now. I'm hearing a lot of talks in mainstream media of course, you hear it on social media all the time, all day, every day. But 
the thing is, why now? Why are they putting out this information now? Because my opinion is they probably know that it's going to be an influx of foreign national immigrants coming here and a lot of people so-called way of life might be affected by it. <laughs> so it's going to cause certain people to move and go elsewhere. Like I said, particularly down South because majority of people is leaving the big cities because they probably don't have the money or the skills to get jobs to sustain themselves in the city. So, uh, and a lot of jobs is leaving the city because I'm going to give y'all a little history for a minute. See, we've been fed this lie that after the Civil War, Blacks went up north and they settled up north in a high population of Blacks been up north and they lived happily ever after. And that was further from the truth. Matter of fact, after the war, a lot of blacks were remained down south. Hence, that's the reason why you have a high population of black down south. The blacks that went up north went up north prior to the 1960s, prior to the civil rights movement. And people need to know this. And I say this because it was most of the industry, the car industry was booming in Detroit. And this was the time that you know, you had your Roller Stones, your Bachelors, and all of the people that was pretty much <laughs> doing their thing back then, your pimps, your players. Well, a lot of them left down south and went up north. So a lot of the people that went up north was down south because of the cities, particularly what you consider a liberal cities now, those cities was booming. So... That's the reason why you have a population, a certain amount of population up north because of the industry, particularly the motor industry and the second, first and second industrial revolution. That's why you have the influx of, and not just blacks, white, everybody, but particularly blacks. So nobody don't talks about the influx of blacks, but they assumed that all of the blacks went uh, no. That was way after the Civil War. How do you think Motown was built? Motown was built out of that. You know, Motown was the first black record label that pretty much breed your Smokey Robinsons, your Diana Ross, your um, Gladys Knights, even though they came a lot later on. <clears throat> you know, when Motown, your Jackson Fives, but to see, they came later on. That's when Motown branched off to California and they remained there while the rest of the older artists that pretty much started Motown remained in Detroit. But I say that to say this, this where Motown, Motown came, pretty much Motown was, they built, they got it from the mud, <laughs> you know, the, the founder of Motown, he pretty much did the same thing, worked on industries, saved his money, and they started Motown. They started getting equipment, and, and all, all of this started to come up. It was like the Midwest movement. And this pretty much what made Motown. So that right there alone showed you that this is where the industries came and now that those industries left those cities a lot of those families that went up north that have ancestry down south are now moving back down south so I tell people all the time because a lot of people up north like to joke on the south I'm like you can't joke on the south because you, if you do your lineage, you might have ancestries down here. You might have ancestors that's from the south. Because a lot of people that's up north now wasn't always up north. 
And it wasn't because of no Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> so get that out of the way. Now, if you want to choose the other way around, it was a bunch of Europeans that was on the plantation as the indentured servants. They was the ones that really went up north. This is why you have a high population of Europeans up north. So all of the stuff that you see right now was modern. It was later on, particularly during the civil rights era. So from the 1960s all the way to 2001, that was basically the timeline to where everything was thriving on up to 2019. Well, really before that, because Detroit being messed up for a long time, a lot of those car industries, a lot of them got bankrupt. Some of them been left. So now you have a city that's pretty much being gentrified. And I can't even say it's being gentrified right now because the way this economy is, a lot of, a lot of these cities ain't going to be able to be afford to be gentrified. So that, that's my thing. So I say that to say this, all of the trinkets, all of the opportunities, all of the, the gravy train, all of that done left those cities and now everything is pointed towards down south, basically for a more simple living off the land type stuff like garden and stuff like that. Gardening. Um, some people probably talking about living off, even living off the grid. But this the move right now, the mass exit is going on and it's definitely the center of conversation right now. So y'all keep an eye on that. If you in the South, I know some people are talk, still talking about moving right now. So this is the talk. And I've been telling, and I have a few videos myself telling people, if you leave these cities, how to start off by looking at these lands and lots that's sitting up in, in the counties. Because that's going to be the largest resort that people do. A lot of people just going to be coming, seeking apartments and seeking houses in the Charlotte area, the Raleigh area, the capital, because those are the places that people go to first before they branch out. Because a lot of people just can't go to North Carolina because North Carolina have mountains. North Carolina have rivers, lakes, wilderness, woods. So if you going into a wooded area, a lot of people got to stay in the city first in order for them to go further out in the wooded area because a lot of people just ain't used to, especially when it get dark. You ever been in the deep south when it get dark in a place with no street lights? You can't even see your hand in front of you. <laughs> I'm talking about that's the places where I hang out at. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even see your hand in front of you. It's so dark. So, if y'all ain't, ain't ready for the places that I hang out, y'all might need to go to Charlotte somewhere like that first because <laughs> if you come well, man, you, hey, you, you might freak out. So, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, y'all, and... I just wanted to bring y'all the update of the mass exodus that's really going on right now. People definitely fleeing the big cities and you're going to see a continuation of that happening as time goes on. With that said, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, like the bell, hit the bell, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.